World Cyber Games Day 4 of the Grand Finals here at Monza in Italy. And we have an absolutely stormer of a match coming your way. It's the third, fourth playoff between Hurai from Finland and they go up against the NOA All-Stars. It's a big game and any one of these two sides can take this third place. I'm joined by Tospot as we take you through this game. And uh, Tos, this is going to be, a, I think this is going to be a special match. Oh, it certainly is. Hurai certainly uh, oohed and awed us yesterday in their three-map thriller uh, against the, against who did they play? They played, um, wow. They played another Scandinavian team. It was the Norway that they played yesterday. Mio Makers. And it was absolutely sensational. And now, NOA with one, two. Very nicely done from Zonic. He's going to drop himself back. HPX will come in. And there's Zonic opening things up with a second. Conte will go down. And for some of these NOA players, wow. it's a that bit to replicate sweet. the uh, position they took at the World Cyber Games 2004. They took second that year with the Titans, some of those players. Not all of them, of course. Now, though, they're going to have to settle for third at best. And they started about that in the best form, fa uh, best possible fashion. They certainly did. Five kills and a f uh, five without even losing a man either. So that's a, a very expensive round for the Finns in that particular uh, for the uh, yeah for the Finns in that particular round. They go down by one to zero in the pistol round here on Inferno. Just a reminder as well. This is a best of three. So let's see how who I take it off. Oh, fantastic shot from Ruin on HBX. One shot, one kill to the head with the Deagle. He's going to make his way towards that sand pit as well. They brushed all the way into this cover bomb site. Paddy will finally get a kill. Ruin comes back with a second. Second kill. That's two in this round for him already. Lerpis finally chimes in with one. He's managed to pick himself up on M4. They've got a real good chance of taking this second round here. And a bomb has been planted at the covered site. Ruit now covering it as well. Three men down already. Two to find. Zonic and Aff on the last two men. Static Zonic will get two. Ruit comes back with another one. That's three in the round from him after two fantastic Deagle shots. Can't finish the last one off though. And Zonic will then wait behind the box. He's got another man to find though. Lerpis down to 17 health. He's got to try and defend this bomb site for all it's worth. I think we're down to 1v1 right now. We are. And Lerpis switching over the Deagle still with 17 health as the bomb takes away. Zonic will come in. Will he get the defuse? This is going to be a very close run thing. I don't think he bought a kit. And that bomb ticks away. It has been defused. And NOA will thank Zonic from the bottom of their heart because they were very close to going down in that second round. What a great round from Hurai. Yes, Hurai, and in particular Ruit. Yesterday when we saw Hurai in their match against Meet Your Makers, it was Ruit. Ruit came up with shot after shot that just wowed us. And that today he started things off. That first frag was a, a, a flashback of yesterday's brilliance. And Hurai made it an expensive second round for the, t uh, for the NOA team. And that's important. Make your opponent think about it. Make your opponent have to rebuy and just keep yourself in their faces at all times. And Harai now are uh, well on the verge of, you know, they've been able to buy because they picked up some frags and they've really reversed this one around from what should be another save round, but it's not. As Nasu edges his way forward with the AK, his whole team's got either AKs or Galils. And Harai know that they can have caused some problems for their opponents as they make their way forward underneath the netting. It is... Nasu just uh, waiting and pondering as uh, the bomb is right behind him and uh, they have MJE and Patty just back at that bomb seat. Lopez is going to make his way slowly forward uh, in the uh, in the uh, upper walkways and will come out above the bomb site. But they're looking for one. And HBX is going to be there to find them down in one. He'll get revenge from Conte. MJE and Patty are the men that are going to get assaulted now as uh, it will be Ruit that leads the assault forward. Lopez down to MJE. Patty is still inside that bomb site. Lopez is going to look for and he will find him. Bomb moving in towards this bomb site now. Reversal from Ruin. Tump has gone down to AVE. And NOA have a bomb to defuse right now. And it's Zonic and AVE that will make the job very, very difficult for the... Uh for the Hurai side, but AVE only five points of health, Zonic just 64, so not a full health bar between the two of them. As Zonic will enter in, claims the frag of Ruin, looking up above him, and Zonic gonna get this one, no, Conte will come in on AVE, it's a one on two, Zonic gonna make his move with the Deagle, he's gonna go down, Conte will collect a hat trick of frags that round with the Galil, and Hurai will pick themselves up a frag, and that'll uh, pick themselves up a round, and that'll set us up at two to one. Yep, 2-1 then, and uh, three rounds down, you know, you usually expect the pistol round to be going all the way to round three, and three rounds to be cleared. So 2-1 is actually a decent score for Hurai. They showed their skills in that third round, and they showed us some skills in that second round as well, with uh, Ruit leading the charge. Let's see what they do in round four. 2-1 down here on the T side of Inferno in the third, fourth playoff at the World Cyber Games. We have two fantastic clans here as well. Don't forget, these two clans have had a great year. They really have. Euro Cup going the way of NOA earlier on in the year. Hurai have also finished a couple of uh, big tournaments in high play. 
place. He's second place recently, of course. And uh, here they are at the World Cyber Games. Not quite making it all the way to the final, but they do have a bronze medal at stake in this game. The winner of this one will claim that and will have the grand final this afternoon on the main stage as well. I can't wait for that one either. Massive games here at the WCG. You don't get many small games, that's for sure. 2-1 then is the score. And it's NOA who lead as Hurai now trying to make their way towards that cover. Bomb side again, it's Conti who's going to come up with their first frag with that M4 that he stole away from them in the last round. Zonix down, and Conti now trying to spy up another man down in the sand. But he will not have said, oh, they're stacked up in the corner. He's got one, can he get the second? Runs out of uh, shots, but does get the kill. Ruit comes in with another one. Lerp is in with the AK shot as well, and HPX has managed to find a couple of shots with the USP as well, and that's pretty impressive from him. Lerp is then waits. Uh, HPX will take him down. Nasu comes in to clean up the last man, and HPX with a hat trick in that round. But it wasn't enough. Yeah, though, worthy of the mention, HPX picked up a hat-trick with the USP, and he really did, all with headshots as well. So, very nice work. Karai having to swap their weapons around. That, rep, that round was costly for them. The NOA side will be wondering. I don't think they have bought at all. And uh, they're now forced back on a save. The score sits at 2-2. Two to two. Map 1, best of 3 format, of course, as NOA take on Hurai in the third, fourth playoff here at the World Cyber Games 2006. As Hurai have got six points. Uh, five, well, they don't have six players, that's for sure. They've got five players <laughs> ready to make. They did. Yeah, ready to make their move up towards that uncovered bomb site. But a rotation has already been called, and this could be costly if they get it wrong. Five on five, everyone is in this right hand side of the map right now. Paddy's going to push forward. Zonix already in there, and Haraya going to be wondering what the hell's waiting for them as they make their move on in. On grenade will bounce off. Lupus is going to come in. Paddy will go down. There's MGE. Ruit will come on through as well, and they haven't made an entry, but Ruit's made two big frags. Zonic and NJE both gone down, and the question is, to rotate or not to rotate? HPX and AB, the last two men standing, if they rotate, they'll get them caught right inside that bomb site, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Nasu has the bomb, and he's going to go all the way around, play it safe. The final two men, HPX and AVE, going to funnel on down this banana walkway, and Tompa will get a brief sight of them, but Nasu with this bomb, undecided, and Nasu really should have gone, but they're going to double it back, they've killed AB, and now it's all on HPX, HPX will go down, and Hurai will come away with four men standing, five frags down, and they will now take the lead. Yep, three to two then, to the Finns, after a shaky first round, they lost all five men in that first opening round. Uh, we're now getting a frag on the board either, so a shaky start has turned into a nice little lead here on T-side Inferno. They lead by three to two, round six underway already. Hurai should have a small advantage in this round, I don't think the... Uh, CT sided NOA will have a full buy. Well, they will have a full buy. My mistake, the last one was a save, of course. So HPX with that AWP launched down the blow on the walkway. They'll make sure they don't go anywhere near that one right now. And we join Tompa back in the back hallway, just leading up towards that carpeted walkway. He hasn't made a move just yet. They're all sitting back right now. It's a very, very uh, defensive kind of position. And I think Hurai have judged this one perfectly, Stu. They've actually thought that, yep, they are going to be on a full buy. They are going to arm themselves up Dorps across the far side. And that banana walkway is fully covered. So they're going to push in towards this cover a bomb site right now. Conti again taking up that familiar position on the exit out of the windowed room that he's made his way into right now. It might send out a flash. Does go out backwards. Tries to spin round. Oh! Shot from the roof. There was one man stacked up on the top. Nasu and Ruit have come in though to grab two. Paddy did get that frag on Conti though. But they do have a man advantage. That'll be taken away from Zonic. Comes in with the M4. Ruit in with another one. He's having a massive match yet again. He's had a fantastic WCG as the plant tries to be planted. Av will come in and get that kill on Tompa as well. Bomb now sits down. Nasu comes in for the reply. He'll have to grab that bomb and get it planted. And we are at a 2v1 situation. Anyway, now all on them. HPX, he has managed to pick up that uh, AWP. I think he had an AWP from the start, actually. Grenade goes in. That'll do a bit of damage. And there are two men to find. Can he find them? Checks left. Checks right. Spins back again. Checks the balcony. Checks right. He saw the head. He saw the head through the box, but he's not going to be able to get the frag. And Ruit through the box. Wins the round for Hurai. They lead by 4-2. to two. In a way, in a uh, tricky position right now, Red, you look at the situation, they've lost the last four rounds. They won that pistol, then they had a very, very costly second round, and ever since then, they have been on a downward spiral, and financially, it's got to be hurting them. They bought big on that last round, you saw the day AWPs, you saw them fully weaponed up, and now they've been forced into a deagle save. And that is going to cost them. The Conte's open things up, and the opening has been made as Hurai come all the way up this banana walkway and claim two big frags. HPX has gone down as well as they'll make their push in. HG goes in and Hurai, well, one thing they're not 
capable of or don't, don't like doing is making a clean entry or a decisive entry. They like to take their time. They like to explore every avenue. And NOA are about to flank them, in fact, if they're not careful, because Paddy and AVE have already gone in. And basically, NOA have said, you know what, put that bomb down. We want an exit kill. And uh, that's exactly what they will have to be playing for as they make their move. It's going to be uh, the bomb to go down with the bomb down with Nasu. There's five men standing, three NOA players waiting with the Deagles for an exit kill, and Arai have got to be wondering what the hell's up. And they sit around, AVE is the man that will be first called into action, and they've set up a nice little crossfire of the uh, NOA side. And if they do come down the banana walkway, then they may well be ambushed, and they're going to sit themselves down. AVE was going to lead that assault as they make the push in. MG's claimed one, and now the uh, assault is on. Ruin down to AVE, though, as they push on forward. Lopez is going to claim one, and it's all on Patty. Lopez downing MG. The bomb ticks away, and now run, NOA. Patty, run. Yeah, well, I don't think he knows the meaning of that one. And Ruin will take the frag. And, well, interesting idea from NOA. They wanted to get some exit kills, wanted to get some money. In the end, though, it didn't pay off, and they're now down 5-2. to two. Yeah, and look at that little ropey this morning. Maybe they've, uh, you know... Didn't get out of bed too early, I don't know, maybe a late night in Milan, I, I don't know. But it's not working out for them right now. 5-2 to two is the score, Harai started a uh, shaky first round, lost that first round having lost all five men, but since then, they've been pretty decent. They've won one of the first three rounds as well, which always helps when you're down on the cash. But this time round, NOA will light it up, and AWP comes out from Sonic, but there's a fantastic HG from Ruit. And that'll get rid of Zonic, so that's a one for one, and we're back to 4v4. Nusha has made his way along this banana walkway, three men, uh, two men behind him, and one other man, Ruit, holding that middle area right now, looking up through the smoke. They've smoked that uh, uncovered side as well, so they've uh, kind of put down a couple of markers for NOA, but as you would expect, really, there's nothing, uh, nothing majorly magical about what they've done right now, but they have at least put that smoke down just in front of the uncovered side, and one up through the middle as well. Conti comes in with another kill with the AK on MJE. And that'll give them a man advantage. 4v3. Ah, comes back. He'll get another one down on Tampa as well. As Nasu now makes his way forward. Didn't want to go back in. They're not going to commit. They are going to make the rotation here. Conti's called it through the middle area. He reckons they've gone clear. And they've rotated back round to the other, other side. So he wants that push through the middle area. Meanwhile, HBX is coming round the other side. No, he's not. He's going to check back round. He will have that AWP in hand as well. Uh, a, gr a grenade and a flash come through from that covered side. And Nasu has to take evasive action behind the box. He spies one and what across towards the library. And HBX with a, a point blank range. York shot, he's come, walk, got one, and Paddy will come in with another one, he gets that second kill, and then their final kill will come in from AVE, and he'll down Conti, and that's a, well, it's a good round from NOA, and they played that one smart. They did play that one smart. The way Harai have played for the previous seven rounds is they very much read and react. They forced a situation and they played off the indisciplines of their opponent. They've gone up the banana walkway and just sat there for a good 30 seconds. They've left one player to hang around the middle area and as the rotation comes in, he's picked off a man. And they've very much played off the movement of their opponent. Finally, NOA reacted to that and they made something happen for themselves. HPX missing a massive AWP frag there. You could see the hand. It was glaring on our screen right there and well he missed that one out i don't know if you could have made that one any bigger maybe paint it yeah. yellow stick a sign on it saying shoot here yeah we could have put a sign on there for it. maybe an overlay but uh, anyway as we have the harai side now pushing down the far right and again you see ruit ruit as we flick around to him for you on the video stream out there ruit is just sitting here he's waiting to see if there's any movement whilst his other four players are making a commitment oh, they're all going in lupus is running right into the danger zone and amazingly comes out full hp after uh, running the gauntlet oh no only 31 there we go slow update as uh, we have ruit about uh, sorry lupus about to move on in as ruit will commit from the other side and now lupus will charge on down in towards the motor pit they'll push forward, forward and down one but Paddy's equalized things up Nasu goes down Tompa's ready to make that assault in towards that bomb side I think he has the bomb indeed he does he's going to go on forward oh. shot down from Paddy there we go Conte and Rowan opening up those final two frags Paddy and AVE will claim them and uh, will be the deaths and they got away with three players alive on that one round up three players are alive good job Yep, good job indeed. 6-3 is the scoreline in three clear rounds in front yet again. They were 5-2 up, of course, before NOA pulled one back. And uh, just flicking through the NOA side, I think they might well be on a save yet again. They're going to be miserable. They, I mean, there's nothing worse than playing one round and then being on a save and then another round and then being on a save. And uh, you know, It's depressing when they're playing Counter-Strike. You want to be able to buy, you want to have some cash in the bank, and they're not going to have it this round. They're right, on the other hand, looking very healthy indeed. Uh, Nasu making his way forward down that banana walkway. He's the lead man here. He's already fired a couple of shots through the wall and towards that box on the right hand side has checked it out no one's here right now meanwhile the other player is just uh, well, making a move towards that middle area I think uh, the bomb man is well, Bobby's with Tampa right now in that middle area walkway as we check back with Nasu now you can see all four men in front of him 
and they will make their way towards that cover site. They favoured that cover site. I think we've only seen one push into the uncover bomb site so far, so they, they're having a lot of success down at this cover site, and uh, they're going to stick to that. You know, if it works, don't don't. You know, don't mess around with it. If it ain't, ain't broke, don't fix it. And that's exactly what Hurai are going to do now. Nasu again leading the way. Uh, HBX is coming with the USB shot. He's been absolutely superb with those pistols already this morning. He's got another headshot kill this time round as well. And now Hurai find themselves five men down, uh, five men to four down. But they do have the weapons to try and break into this covered site. Uh, strategic shots being placed out by Lerp. He's on towards the balcony and through the wall. Now does make his way forward. He, is the point man trying to get into this bomb site? He's got two men to the side of him, some shots are exchanged through the wall as well. Back into the Sabin again. HPX with another Deagle shot, and that's two in the round. And he's dealt with a, a whole load of abuse. Now Am, AV and HPX will come back in and equalize it back up at last. But hey, HPX having a stunning game so far. His team are not done. MJ finally chimes in with two, and then Ruick comes in and grabs that frag. Paddy is now down in the Sabin. He's the only man remaining, and Ruick is having a stormer as well. And anything he can, anything HPX can do, Ruick seemingly can match as well with that pistol as he comes down in the same pit route will get the hat trick with a frag on the AK-47 and there it is all done and dusted for Hurai they lead by 7-3 and they look pretty comfortable right now admittedly though that was a costly round for them they lost four players and Ruit had to go and finish off that last man on his own this means that you know, Hurai are now forced facing four players having to buy they're having to dip into their lar large swells of finances that sit on the uh, that they that sit in their back pocket and well Let's see, Harai will now push on forward. Uh, AK-47 being whipped out, four players ready to move up that banana walkway. Ruid is the man that you always want to follow as they will charge on slowly but surely towards them. They've AVE and Zonic that they'll have to deal with as Ruid gets a boost. He's now going to grenade on in. And here is a very clean entry towards that bomb site. Lupus is on the prowl. Oh, hello, Zonic. A headshot in the back. He's going to make his way around the, towards that bomb site. There's still one player in there I think they'll find. And yes, Lupus will find him very much so. HPX scopes up the AWP. Tompa connects before he can even line him up. And now the bomb goes down. And they've already covered all angles. MJE and Pat have decided to say, you know what, you want that bomb site, you want to do what you want to do, go for it. We'll just sit here, don't mind us, you know, we're just going to lose this round. Eight to three will be the score after this one. Oh, don't mind us, well, I think Harai do, and the last man standing is MJE. He's picked up a frag, Conte will go down. It's one exit frag, but the damage has been done on what was a buy round for NOA, so they'll be forced probably into another save. That'll see the score at 8-3, to three. and Harai, oh, nicely from MJE, he'll pick up the one on Ruit. Target gets successfully bombed, there'll be more money in the bank. And I'll tell you what, on T's side, on, on Inferno, it's looking really, really good for Harai. Yep, 8-3 is the score then, they lead the way by five rounds now as we go into round 12. Just a few more of this half to go in the first map of this third, fourth playoff. This is for the bronze medal at the World Cyber Games 2006. This isn't any just old, any old medal. This is the World Cyber Games Grand Finals here in Monza, Italy. 8-3 is the lead then from the Finns. They have the advantage. Genoa setting themselves up on the banana walkway. We'll just flick through to find some of those Finns and see what they're doing this round. They made a, a really, really good push on a bye round last time round for NOA as well. They were, they were more positive and confident that round than they've been in the entire match. Oh, Zonix coming with a grenade down the walkway and then an the USP as well. And then Nasu in with one for a reply. Abs come in with one. Kotti and Nasu combine to take down two more. They've got one more man to find. And that last man standing. Oh, two more men to find. My mistake. Zonic and MJ made their way down the banana walkway. But fit, meanwhile, Hurai have pushed in towards that covered site. They'll get that bomb planted now. And there it is. Being done. Conti waits. He has the support on the far side. He's got another man around him as well. And Zonic, meanwhile, is making his way towards this bomb site through the carpeted walkway well no he's decided he's going to go backwards now he has collected himself a, an AK-47 as well so he, uh, I don't know whether he might take this one on we'll see they are going to come from either side I think 2v2 right now as well MJE meanwhile is uh, backing away so does look as if Sonic's setting himself for an exit kill only I thought he might have been a bit braver there and perhaps gone in towards the bomb site not to be this round Will Ben managed to save his gun and that'll be important for him and MJE to get those guns saved Conti and Lerpis meanwhile make a retreat from the bomb site as the bomb is about to blow and then there it is. Hurai collect a ninth round from 12, and everything's going swimmingly well for them. Swimmingly? Swimmingly well. Boy. Now, <laughs> head away. What do you do if you're in a way? You're a team that really... Disconnect? Has, well, <laughs> you're a team that's really played a very, very strong tournament thus far. You're, you're in the third, fourth playoff for a reason, but... On a cold Sunday morning here in Monza, Italy, you're looking very, very average at this moment in time on what is a pretty balanced map. Well-balanced, meaning 
both sides should be able to pick up an even or a, you know, a good distribution of the rounds. And in the lane thus far have not. And he's going to stop things off. MG will pick up one. MG will pick up a second. Very nicely done. And Harai have been massacred. We didn't see a shot of them wow. actually. And there's the last one. HPX will pick up through it. Were they even in that round? Yeah, well, I couldn't find them on the mouse, <laughs> that's for sure. Nine to four the score. We're going into the final two rounds of the half. And everything I was just saying about anyway could be reversed. If they pick up these last two, make it 9-6 at the half, then there's something to build on. If not, they've got to make something happen magically. Yeah, on T side as well. So uh, we'll see. We have uh, just two more rounds to go. This being the second to last round of the first half in this first map. 9-4 is the score. Hurai from Finland leading the NOA All-Stars from Denmark, of course, so another all-Scandinavian tie-up. We had one yesterday as well, and uh, meanwhile, Zonic's made his way through and pushed through into that banana walkway. Double AG from Zonic, but he's gone down under fire from Topper as well. The kills actually occurred after he died, so brilliant stuff from Zonic. Really risky manoeuvre, but it has taken down a couple of them. They've lost three men in this round. They've got a 4v2, and Ruit's got an awful lot of work to do at the end of this banana walkway. They've got to be careful not to be flanked here as well, and that could well happen if MJE decides to make a move, but he hasn't yet. Ruit now making his way towards that bombsite. Does take down HPX. Meanwhile, he's lost another partner in crime as well, and he is last man standing with the bomb in hand as well. And he's well, he's all full of indecision right now because he's going to be flanked, and he's got people in front of him. He's got one in the bomb side. He knows that. There'll be one round to the left hand side. And there's one round to the right hand side. And it's AVE for the final kill. And uh, well, another good round from NOA. And I think that might just force Hurai into a save in this last round. Uh, Hurai have thrown it all away. They had a great gleaming opportunity to go into the half a long, long way ahead. But these final two rounds have been swept away from them. They've now forced with a partial buy. Whatever they've got last round, just put it in. If you can afford a ham sandwich, go for it. But if not, you know what? you got nothing. And while Harai sit now, knowing that this one should go to NOA, and that'll see the score at 9-6 to six at half time. And suddenly, Harai, who looked so, so good throughout this entire match, will just be sitting and wondering, what the hell did we do wrong? AV is going to open the fragging up onto Ruin as we now follow the three through the middle. Tompa is uh, going to be flashed out as he'll just hang on to that wall and uh, will now double himself back. He's got one in front of him straight away. Nasu's going to down HBX, but there's MJE from nowhere. Conte saves his back and will pick up an M4 for his trouble. Adding in on Lopez. It's Conte and Nasu. Oh no, it's just Conte now. One on three. It's time to go hard as Conte will push himself down this alleyway. He's got Paddy, Zonic, and AVE to deal with. He's nothing to lose. He's got 50 seconds to play with. He's going to dodge an HE. Now land the fire. AV and Sonic quickly moving to flank as they get the call. He's in the balcony and as he sees the bullets coming behind, Paddy's just spamming those shots. Sonic is there. Now Conte ready to make a move. AV is not going to be needed but he was coming around from the back and Paddy will pick it up. Good half say Harai. Well I'll tell you what, it wasn't a good half in the end. Those final three rounds can make or break you and they let the ball slip for sure. And NOA go in at the half, just 9-6 down, and it's a different ball game now. Yep, absolutely it is. We'll be right back with the World Cyber Games third, fourth playoff for bronze in just a moment. World Cyber Games grand final for 2006. We're almost at the end of the tournament. It's day four of four, and we have the third, fourth playoff here in the Counter-Strike 1.6 tournament. It's NOA versus Hurai. We've had the first half, second half about to begin. NOA switching themselves over to the T side, and they are down by six rounds to nine. Tosspot, take us away. Harai now going to charge themselves straight through the middle. Four players are going to go on in. Three of them will go on in towards that uh, middle area. They're just going to sit from that office and rain down the fire. Nasu, one, two. Zonic goes, uh, with return of fire, and Tompa will go down. But Nasu's already inflicted a lot of damage. Zonic set himself up for anyone else that may come through. But already Harai, with that man advantage, now can sit themselves down and think, hey, we are able to do something now as uh, Ruid is going to push forward. Paddy, Zonic, and HPX are going to push down the far right of this map, and uh, they will just edge their way towards the cover bomb site. Paddy and HPX, in fact, are going to go over that walkway and through towards the very middle. Zonic now joins them, and they're about to enter the camouflage netting. HPX is going to walk his way forward. He spies one. He backs himself away. He's able to find one. Lopez, one, two. Nicely done. And Nasu will claim his hat trick. Great stuff from Harai. They picked up four. They picked up five frags with just one in return. They've got this pistol. If they can convert. But they can restore their lead, but I'll tell you what, we're talking at the half there, Red. You know, it could and probably should have been a 13-2 half-time score. Yep. Instead, it was 9-6, so now they need to build on this pistol round. Yeah, they do. They do need to build this pistol round fully. They didn't do it last time. They lost that opening pistol round themselves, so it switched around as they uh, switched teams. 
And, uh, you know, well, Harai have, have shown us all the way through this tournament how good their strats are. And uh, if there's a test for them right now, it comes against the European champions, NOA. It's uh, a big, big test for them. But they have every possibility of taking this bronze and taking this first map as well. They have the advantage. They'll know that NOA are on a save as well. And Root's come up with the first frag of the round. Tompa will rotate back towards the other side. Oh, no, actually, no, he's not going to do that. Ruit, meanwhile, Conti and Ruit are just absolutely steamrolling through this NOA side. Have downed all of the land par one. Paddy's the last man standing. Has got himself a Deaglin, has he? They may want a partial bar. We didn't see the start of their buy round, so we'll have to wait and see whether that one's going to be uh, bad news for them in round three and round four. Paddy edging his way round all the way past the cover bomb site, checking the back of the library. He hasn't found anyone so far, but he has himself or at least one frag. And, uh, you know, Herai won't want to make this expensive. They've got three, four men remaining now, and uh, they'll just want to wait and see where Paddy comes from. You'll notice Herai are very static as well. They don't really move around a lot on CT side. You saw a lot of movement from NOA in the first half. It's not the same for Herai. They'll just sit and wait here, one on the balcony, as Paddy unleashes those deagle shots yet again. He'll check the right-hand side, has managed to grab himself an M4. That's what he wanted to try and find. 20 five seconds remaining. He's got no real chance of getting that bomb planted, I don't think. But if he is going to make it, he's going to have to do it at the covered site. And maybe the rotation is going to occur. I don't think he has enough time to get all the way over to the banana walkway. No, he doesn't. He's realised that as well. He's going to check out the balcony, check the sand. He hasn't found anyone so far. There are two men in that area waiting for him as well. Nasu is up on the top. Oh, Paddy does put off a brilliant shot. Can he get the second one inside the bomb site? Not enough time to get this one planted, so it's not going to be an NOA round, but an expensive end as they down two more players, down two of those players at the end of the round. Paddy making a bit of a nuisance of himself there. Yeah, but he didn't get to save the gun, and now he's going to sit on this map without a weapon. Is it worth those two frags to now go into this round without a weapon? I don't know. Personally, I would have saved, but you know what? I'm not a European champion. I'm not playing in this third, fourth game, so yeah, I'm not also going to question him. He's going to make his way that forward. That sounds reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> I think he could beat me, but I don't know. I'm going to make our way forward with uh, NOA now. There are four or five players charging on it towards this. Uh, oh, massacre from Conte. One, two, three, four. Can he get the fifth? Sonic running for his life, screaming, Mommy, help me. And she can't help him. He's going to get massacred. That'll be the ace for Conte. And that is sensational stuff. Hooray pick up their third straight round and there was absolutely nothing NOA could do about it. Absolutely fantastic ace. Always great to see the aces, especially in the big games as well. When you want to really go big, you've got to produce the big rounds and that's exactly what Conti has done there. Never mind that. Five kills in the round. The ace is confirmed and that is the first ace of this 3-4 final for bronze medal at the World Cyber Games 2006. That's one for the scrapbook perhaps in 40 years time. He'll look back and remember when I got an ace in the grand finals at the World Cyber Games? I don't know. We'll see. 12-6 is the scoreline. Harai clear up the first three rounds. They have a six round advantage now. They've restored that from the first half. They were way ahead. 9-2 up. They threw away a few rounds at the end. Four rounds in fact. And the half finished at 9 to 6. So we're at, uh, we're at 12 to 6 in terms of the scoreline right now. As NOA now have a full gun round and are able to push through towards that carpeted walkway. Let's see whether they've got any other players in there. They have got one other player behind them, but they've also managed a 3 2 split here with HPX and MJE and AVE coming along that banana walkway. Let's switch over and see if we can find them right now as they're making their way along. HPX zooming up the AWP down the walkway, checking for any sign of life that he wants to extinguish. Hasn't seen anyone so far. Will bounce away as the grenade, as a uh, flash and a, a smoke come out to try and keep them away from that uncovered site. HPX will take cover behind this box right now. He's got one man just behind him as well, which is AVE. MJ is also set. They've definitely gone for the 3-2 split. Paddy and Zonic will make a move, I'm pretty sure, any moment now, just to unleash a few bullets to make them aware that they are there by the covered site. And that'll be the uh, move for MJ to push in towards the bomb site. MJ does show himself as well. Now the rotation's going to occur. Great stuff from NOA. Good tactics. Zonic's come in, meanwhile, for the first kill of the round down by the library. Lopez has hit the ground. And uh, Tompa, I don't think, has had the call yet to say go to the other side they're gonna make a rotation meanwhile they have broken into that cover bomb site MJ is gonna have to pick up this bomb after AVU managed to drop it thanks to Ruit he downed it with the M4 bomb does get planted now one man on top of the box is right oh Ruit and Conti combined to get two of them inside that cover bomb site and only HPX is allowed to get away with it he's not gonna be able to get away with his life and that defuse will come in Tompa with the last kill of the round and Hurai clean up round four it's gonna be another save for NOA Two frags and a bomb plant, though, so they did make something out of that round. And uh, they are certainly buying up grenades and weapons. And, yep, you know, they, it was just because they got that bomb plant that saved them on that one. I'm pretty sure of it. But 
So this will be two buy rounds in a row. Defeat on this one will certainly leave them in the red and needing a credit card or two as uh, Anna Wei will now uh, have to make the most of this. They're four down in the second half. Their first buy round went against them. They've won more. And then it's, uh, then it's well, you never know. Uh, but the overall score sits at 13 to 6. And that is not pleasant reading if you are Danish. They are looking at a situation that sees them just three rounds away from a possible first map defeat here. And that's crucial. Three rounds away from a possible first map. And this map has been really, really quick. And away will push themselves forward now. HPX is going to uh, make his way slowly but surely forward as... Uh, they will edge their way in towards underneath the, uh, underneath the netting. And now they'll open things up. Zonic on the Ruit will push forward as we have the grenades bouncing over. HPX is going to lead that assault forward as well as they grenade down in towards the sand pit. It, they know one of them is in there. He's going to make his way forward. Oh, he's behind oh. you! And that'll be Lopez. It'll pick up the frag. MG came back. Conti's going to come forward. <laughs> the bomb has been planted for the uh, second round in a row as Conti's going to make his way forward. Three on three. Bomb planted. MJ in that sand pit. Looking around, we have. But we don't have AVE for much longer as Conte connects. Zonic going to make his way forward. Nasu oh. downs one. It's all on Zonic now. He's going to make his way slowly but surely forward oh. towards that bomb site. The bomb ticks away. It's being defused. Really it's a two on side, one. Sir. He's going to make his way forward. He's got one. He's going to back himself away. Can he get the second one? One on one. Tompa's not going to get the defuse. It's going to go boom. He will go for the defuse. Surely this bomb will blow up. Tick, 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 boom! And that bomb will go, and Harai will lose their first map in the second round. I don't know what to say. I, you know, that was such a funny little moment where we had the little dancing around the box. Zonic playing that one absolutely superb. They had no idea where he was. They went for the fake defuse. It then produced a shot from him through the box into that gap, and he pulled off that last, last kill. He did enough at the end to delay them getting to the bomb, and of course that's why that bomb then exploded as well. So 13 to 7 is the score. Hooray are three away from the victory margin, but NOA making a little, little comeback, if you like, through that middle area, and that was an important round toss, because if they'd lost that one, that would have effectively been 15 rounds, because they would have had to have saved on the next one. Indeed, AVE is going to open things up, though, in any way with a newfound resurgency after Zonix excellent. Oh, that is sensational from MG. I didn't even see the pixel of that head on the screen. He's going to make his way forward, and now he'll claim a second frag. Conte going down, and then away. Oh, storming through CT spawn, clearing out towards the uncovered bomb site now as they rotate slowly but surely through. Topper will pick up one. We'll go down to MG. That'll be the hat trick. Thank you very much. And the last man standing is Lopez, and Lopez is running away for his life as, uh, well... I wonder what the finances will be like for the Harai side. Not only have they lost two in a row, but their rounds have been expensive throughout this game. NOA have picked up a lot of frags in this match. And Harai now will have to be thinking about whether they save. Lopez is definitely saying, I want to keep my weapon. Don't know if I can afford one next round. And we'll see. Zonic uh, and NOA will pull this game back to a five-round game. The score is NOA 8, Harai 13 when this bomb blows. And, well... It's not over until the fat lady sings. It's definitely not. And uh, well, it's over when the bomb blows, that's for sure. There it is then. Round 8 is confirmed for NOA. Denmark versus Finland here in the World Cyber Games. Third, fourth playoff for the bronze medal in this championship. 4-2 uh, this half. 13-8 overall. Harai still lead, though. But I think we might well see them on some kind of partial buy. Only Lopez has that weapon that he saved. And I don't see any other buys other than Deagles right now. So, yeah, we get a partial buy on that round for the uh, Hurai side. They do like these Deagle rounds. And I've seen them be very successful in this tournament with them as well. So this is by no means a foregone conclusion that we're going to end up with a 13-9 scoreline. NOA, though, will set themselves up with a 2-3 split yet again. Zonic and Paddy again in those back hallways. And uh, the three making their way down the banana walkway just gently so far. I haven't really committed themselves to going along that way. HPX, MJ, and AV all down there. And uh, meanwhile, Zonic doing a good impression of a bunny hopper, but not doing anything other than moving. He is going to go back into towards that carpeted hallway, I think, right now, and join his other man. They're setting themselves up through the middle area as well. HPX now has made his way down that banana walkway, so I think this is a diversion tactic from him. He's going to try and cause some grief down here and pretend that actually they're going to push into this bomb site. HPX has got himself the first frag out of the round. Conti's broken into that bomb site as well. He might get the call to rotate. Indeed, they have. MJ and AV now making their way hastily, running, running, running for madness, right down towards that uncovered bomb site. They will get this plant now, and Hurai have a lot of work to do to try and get this one uh, down and Ruit is going to go down in the middle area. Paddy with the shot from the AK has got rid of probably the uh, most dangerous player from the Hooray side over the last three days in this championship. MJ now just firing off through the boxes trying to spam and keep them away. Bomb is planted at that 
uncovered site, and they have all five men remaining right now. It's 5v3, and Hurai look like they're going to do what NRA did in the first half, and just try and save three guns, go for the exit kills, try and get a bit more cash in the bank, and then fall by next round. The uh, bomb ticks away. It will be another explosion, and there'll be another whole load of cash entered into the terrorist accounts, and the NOAs will be able to buy fully again in the next round. 13 to 9 is the score, then, as we head towards the end of this first map. Excellent terrorism there from the NOA side. They picked up five, five, uh, they, blah, they came away with five players in hand, they got the bomb down, and they didn't lose a thing. It was perfect from them, just what they needed, three straight rounds in a row. Money will be looking good for them as they look around towards the Harai side, and uh, they have now bought up and will now grenade down the middle, which the NOA side is just a few seconds away from meeting, though, just a little bit too early uh, off the gun as we have the boost coming in. It'll be a two-man boost that'll send MJE up to join his teammate inside. Oh, and another one will come in towards this office area, and as they're going to make their move forward, here they go one by one. They funnel on out towards this cover bomb site. The bomb is with them, and they will charge on in. There's two in the sapping that they don't know. Ruiz picked up one. Lupus has gone down. Grenade comes in. MJE's shoes are on fire, and he's going to make his way forward. Ruiz picked up one. Nasu's come up with a frag on Paddy. Ruiz operating in the second sapping, dodging a grenade as he goes. Conte in on XPX, and NOA are falling like flies. MJE is the last man standing. It's a one on three. He sits inside that bomb site. He blows Tom for the high heavens, and is now going to look around for that bomb. He sits himself down inside the sand pit. He's 45 seconds to build a sandcastle and pick up two frags. He's two points of health as well, so that's a tall order to say the least. As uh, he will look around, Ruit and Conte. Conte is actually uh, flanking him big time and is about to strike from above. MJE is uh, waiting inside that sandpit. I'm pretty sure Ruit knows it as well. And as MJE looks slowly forward towards this bomb, Conte is, uh, well, Ruit will scream, come now, Conte, he's not looking. And Conte is poised to strike as MJE picks up the bomb. And there it is in the back of the head. And that'll be that. Harai pick up a well-needed round. That'll take them to 14. And the overall score right now is 14 to 8, with Harai having money. Yep, they do have some cash in the bank right now. And that was a really good round for them as well. Although, uh, yeah, it's a slightly different tactic from NOA. They've played very cagey throughout the map. They haven't really pushed fast. That was the first quick rush we've seen all the way through the back buildings as well. And along that carpeted walkway, they made a, a combined push. Two along the walkway, three around the side, and it didn't work out from Hurai. He almost expected that one. The exchange of grenades goes down the banana walkway. Paddy will grab himself that first frag as well. They pile on down that walkway, NOA. And they're going to make a fast rush along this walkway for the first time in the game. We haven't seen this one either. But no, MJ is the only man that commits to actually going into the bomb site and showing himself. The other four have gone all the way back through the centre and what are Hurai doing right now? I tell you what, they're going to have to rotate all the way back towards the covered site because they left it completely uncovered. Lerpis and Ruit abandon their sites and HPX will get an orb shot through the door and Lerpis will get that uh, will go down under fire from him and they will get the bomb planted as well. It's absolute chaos here from Hurai. I have no idea what they were doing in this round and I don't think they do either. They've got two men stuck over by the other site and they don't look as if they're going to be moving right now. Let's see if we can go and find them. Like, there we are, look Nasu. Yeah, there's a bomb to defuse, sir. Go and find it. There's another man just on the left-hand side as well. They're going to save these weapons this round. Okay, that's a, that's a reasonable tactic, but the mistakes occurred earlier than that, Toss. Yeah, they bought that fake hook, line, and sinker. In a way, charged on up. Five men up there. I would have bought it as well. I had to say, if I if I had looked at this uh, this overview map and saw the five people coming in, I would have bought it and said, "Any way are coming to the uncovered bomb site." They I, bought I, it. I, I called it as well. I said, "You know, they're going to rush the banana walkway." So it fooled me as well before I actually turned my head and saw the other screen and saw them backing away. So and it would have been an excellent rotation as well. Very speedy. In the end, it was terrible. But that's not the point. It was just a good. Good, good strat from NOA, and, they've, and their opposition bought it hook, line, and sinker. That's what those fakes are all about. And, uh, well, now they're going to separate these weapons out, because only two of them have guns, I believe, as uh, HPX is going to shoot forward, and now uh, NOA, uh, sorry, Harai are going to funnel on down through the uh, through the avenues as they have Tompa with a, the player in front. Oh, they do have weapons, in fact. It's not a save for them. Paddy picked up the frag. One, two, and two of the players that did have weapons don't anymore. Conte's now going to have to call a rotation. Paddy's picked up the hat-trick as he's down Lopez in the back. And well, anyway, single-handedly by the hand of Paddy, has picked up the frags. And, uh, well, it's, it, well, to, to coin a pun from Losers Anonymous, it's okay to lose if you are the Hurai side because they only need two more rounds. They've lost this one. In fact, they've been absolutely raged in this one, if I'm honest. But they have two more rounds that they need to win. And if they can overcome that, then and 
then they will be okay. Yep, uh, MJ did have that uh, M4 that he picked up in the back corridors as well, so he's got plenty of cash, and he's picked up a weapon as well. I we saw uh, Famous being bought there by Nasu, so they're still in bad shape. Ruit here with, a, uh, with a Famous as well. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'd have gone one more round. If they're in that kind of bad financial shape, I would have, I would have waited one more round, maybe. Well, they've got an M4 as well, so it's, it's certainly a partial buy. It's a nearer full than, any, than either, but yes... I, too, would have gone for a save. Especially with the four rounds they have in the back. It's 14-10 right now. Who Rai leading in this third, fourth plough for the bronze medal at the World Cyber Games 2006? We have four men on the uh, banana walkway right now. HPX is fully orped up. He's ready to blow any time now he sees any speck of a pixel stepping out from that uncovered bomb site, still checking from right and left. They're going to throw these grenades, flashes and smokes, a mixture of them all the way over the top of the roof and round to the right-hand side any second now. Here they go. Here comes the push. The smokes are uh, thrown away. HBX with the first shot through the wall. Uh, that wall didn't move either, and he didn't get the frag. And the three men break in towards that bomb site. They'll get this bomb planted as well. And I think they will realise that Haraya are on a little bit of a partial buy right now. So uh, bomb gets planted. We have Paddy making a rotation as well right behind them. We've got 4v4 right now, so let's see whether we've got the Hurai players making their way towards this uncovered site. They have. Lerpis is the first man to break through and find another head. It's NJ's head. He finds. Uh, Paddy then replies. He gets the revenge frag on him. And they do have uh, an advantage here. Uh, Nasu comes in with that famous HPX. We'll finish him off against the kill on Conti. But Nasu in again with another frag on the end. Oh, brilliant stuff from Nasu. Stunning stuff with the famous. Famous power for the win. Two down. Finishes the third one off with the pistol and he'll just about get this defuse, I think. Just Does about. he not have a kit? I don't think he has no! a kit! Oh, oh, what a terrible error then. Hurai didn't have the kit, and despite fantastic work from Nasu, he's not going to get the defuse. And you know what? As that ticked away, it was pretty obvious he didn't have the kit in hand. But, you know, I, I, you can't blame him. He's had a fantastic round, but that round goes to NOA yet again. And I think that might pour, force Hurai back onto another save. That is stunning stuff. I haven't seen a bomb defuse without a kit in a long time, actually. And Harai now sit 14-11. This one is going to go down to the wire, and Harai are going to stack up the uh, wrong bomb site, actually, as HPX are going to go. HPX in a way will push through the middle and all the way down towards the uncovered bombs, uh, towards the cover bomb site, sorry. And, uh, well, they have the bomb in the other side, and HPX now is going to rotate forward. He's the man with the bomb. He has the AWP in hand. He's scoping forward. There's not been an ounce of movement, and in a way, we're worried that there might be a rush from some direction, and it's actually come Come over towards the uh, it's come towards the wrong bomb site and as we look around this lower area it's all all inside that uncovered bomb site. Paddy and HVX will edge their way forward. AVE is there and then away now. They're just going to walk in towards this cover bomb site and say, hey, usually we play against an opposition, but if we don't need one this time, sure, that's fine. That'll take the score to 12 to 14 if they pick this round up. Eventually, though, they're actually going to have to go to that bomb site. 45 seconds remain as uh, Zonic has the bomb. I wonder whether he might push through spawn because he's gone around to that left-hand side, but I don't think he will do. They'll just all come along one by one by one and make their way in towards this uncovered bomb site, firing and grenading, but there's no one there to fire or grenade at. And Harai just pleasantly having ham sandwiches and tea and crumpets over at the other bomb site whilst the bomb goes down underneath that netting. And, well, let's just find the Harai guys just to tell you that they are on the server. They haven't disconnected. And, uh, well, there they are. There's, a, there's one, two, three, four, five, yeah. They uh, even bought Famuses yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah, one had a Famus in hand. I think that was the only one that did buy. I think he might have bought that one by mistake. Uh, that's the only reason I can think. But they, an interesting strat, really, from Hurai. They, they realized they were going to have no buy that round, so they all went to the uncovered site, thinking perhaps that NOA would go for the covered site. Now NOA are going to move in towards this bomb site right now, see if they can get themselves some exit kills. And I don't know about exit kills. This is camping kills, because they've got to actually find them to get the kills in the first place. Bomb is bombed. has gone off. They will get this kill. We will get one frag at the end of the round. Sonic with one. Oh, we have we've done another one as well. I'm really did get a kill with a Famous, but, uh, you know. That was an I, exciting round, right? Yeah, crazy round. Absolutely. Absolutely crazy, crazy round. Well, I don't know how we're going to top that last one. How Stacking, do you that? Yeah, five players at a bomb site won't see anyone for a good two minutes, but we're going to try. And now we have Harai with three players now going to make their way through the middle. Ruit will uh, push himself forward. He has that M4 in hand. Looking around, we spy Lopez making his way through. Uh, HPX with the AD, uh, AWP uh, has taken a, a slither of damage uh, as he looked up towards the banana walkway. Tomper is the only man there. AVE is uh, sitting with that bomb in the middle. HPX is now going to go up to the bird's eye position and look around and scream, Arr, I'm Captain Bird's Eye. And, well, 
He's got nothing moving in front of him, so he's just going to back himself away. HPX going slowly uh, up the banana walkway, but the push most certainly is coming towards his covered bomb site as MGA has made his way slowly up the middle. AVE has the bomb. And uh, as they go on forward, MG's got a grenade over towards the middle. And are we going to see a rotation? Yes, indeed we are. AVE's going to drop back with that bomb following MGE. And here they go. Uh, it's Conte that's going to call that rotation right in the middle. And Harai are already moving out of, the, out of that cover bomb site. Here goes Conte all the way through the middle, back towards his own spawn because MGE is about to knock on the door of that uncover bomb site. No, he's doubling back. What's he doing? And they will make his way forward. Ruin and Tomper are there. And suddenly Conte is just... Where is Conte going? I'm looking at the overview map over here. He came all the way around to the bomb site, and then when they finally got there, he ran away, scared like a chicken. And, well, now he deserves to be shot for being a deserter. But I'll tell you what that's going to do to the scoreboard, Red. It will set it up at 14-13 to 13 with that bomb planted. And these frags going in will mean Haraya on another save next round after buying this. That's why... Oh, Conte's been picked up by Zonic on the other side of the map. And I'll tell you what... This game could go to NOA. Yeah, it could go either way. I want to point out a little, uh, that there was a clever little strat there from NOA. Zonic actually placed himself in the left-hand corner of the cover bomb site. He showed himself just as MJE was about to go into the uncovered site, which then forced Harai to actually say, hey, they're coming into the covered site, because he got the kill, he got the shot down. He then got another one as well, which I think was why Conti then doubled back on himself and went the other way as they broke into that uncovered site. So actually Zonic is the one they need to thank for the good strat call on that particular round. It's 14 to 13 in the fourth third playoff for the bronze medal here at the World Cyber Games 2006 in Monza, Italy. And uh, well, NOA making a bit of a comeback right now. Hurai weren't on a save. They were on a save last round. And I think that might have been two saves in the round. So they might have done what we said they, they should have done earlier on. And that might well have meant that we haven't got such a close game. But hey, that's good for us and good for the crowd. MJ with the first frag of the round is coming with that uh, AK-47, and Tonpa still not able to buy anything more than a Famous right now, nor is Conti either, so it's, it's been a kind of uh, weirdo buy, I call that, because, you know, there's a couple of Famous in there, a couple of M4s, but they're not fully stacked. They don't have a great deal of money, and if they lose this one, I think they are in big trouble, Toss. They, uh, you know, I can't see them how they can keep on losing rounds and still not get closer to 16. They're two away. They've been two away for the last, what, uh, four or five? Yeah, four rounds right now. It was 14-8. It's now 14-12. NOA still haven't made the push here. 45 seconds remaining. Now, Zonic might well make the push. Now he does come in on Nasu for one, as MJE will break into the bomb site. Let's go and join them over at that uh, banana walkway. Oh, one man walks completely past one of the uh, T players and HPX goes down on Tompa, but th there was a terrorist walking past you, sir. He's gone. He's gone round to the other side. How did that happen? MJE was all the way around the other side and he missed him. It was like there was a smoke or a flash in there. I don't know what happened, but he walked straight past each other. Incredible stuff. Conti will get another frag with that famous. And, hey, he doesn't need an M4. He's doing really well with that one. Switches it finally from AK. And there's uh, oh, MJE comes with the final kill of the round with the uh, man down in the sandpit. And he played a stunning round that round from MJE. And in a way, we'll pull it back to 14-13. And Harai have bought this round. So they've had two rounds. It's that magical round 29 scenario that we saw yesterday. Yesterday against Harai, it was Team Norway, meet your makers, who decided to buy them round 29. Now it's Harai. The situation is you know, very, very similar as, uh, in fact, the score is we're not in round 29, but it's just like we saw yesterday. Do you buy or do you save? You've some one round to go. You've two rounds to play. If you save now, you can guarantee that you've got money and a good buy next round about. If you don't, then you're in trouble. And this means they've gone to for the win, and they're not playing for overtime. They're playing for this win. The score is uh, a necessary 15 to 14 on NOA right now, as the score is 9 to 5 in favor of Harai as we go into the final round of this, uh, of this map. And well, that's why Harai bought, and unfortunately my maths and my brain was a little bit slow this morning, so you're going to have to forgive me and just ignore the past sentence that I just spouted. So last round of the map, Harai have bought to save themselves, because if NOA pick this round up, they're going to take this opening map, something that looked very unlikely earlier on this morning. There's Lurpin picking up the one. Oh. There, there's Conte with one and two with that famous power. He's going to make his way forward. Ruit will come through, and the Xetis win, and they'll save themselves. They'll take us to overtime. And, well, what a stunning round that was from Harai. 15-15, 9-6. Scores replicated both sides around. And we're going to restart this overtime right now in 5, 4, 3, 2, and... Here we go. You're inside the game with Toss Bottom Red Eye. It's the World Cyber Games 2006 third-fourth playoff between Finland and Denmark. And I'll tell you what... 
No matter what happens, Scandinavia is going to be very happy right now. They will take three out of the top four places here at the World Cyber Games 2006. Europe has really reigned supreme somewhat this, uh, this tournament. They will take the top four in total, Europe, as uh, they will now look on now as we see an NOA side that have come back from the clutches of defeat to force overtime. But to say that, in that final round, NOA could have won the match. So it's still anyone's ball game. We're at a half time. Remember, this is overtime, which means that both sides are given ten thousand dollars, and that means that the whole money system, the whole pistol round, is somewhat averted. However, come that third round, you do have to be aware of the way you played in the previous two. And Red Eye, this this one is close. Yep, it's very close. Has been close all the way through. We saw a nine six first half in favor of Hurai, a nine six in favor of NOA in the second half. So equal Stevens as it will be from both sides. This first map causing us to uh, see a lot of different strats actually. Both teams playing some really, really good stuff and some really odd stuff as well I have to say as Lurpis comes in with the first kill of the round with the M4 and Hurai will have the man advantage. Anyway, uh, looking to push up that middle walkway with three. They've got one in the uh, coveted walkway as well and HBX will have bought that AWP straight away of course and you're thinking, hang on, round one, ball and hop. Yeah, that's because they get 10 grand each, so that's why. We're in overtime here of this first map in the third, fourth playoff for the bronze final. That's what's at stake right now. And both these sides, you can bet your bottom dollar, absolutely want that bronze medal and a place on the stage at the end of today. The fourth and final day here at the World Cyber Games. And 18 seconds remaining in this half. We're going to have to see a push soon from MJE and NOA. They do flash all over the place. He's going to be tortured down by Nasu Lapis with two. And Hurai have the advantage here with the final kill going to Nasu. And that's a really clean round from Hurai that time round. 1-0 then in overtime, map one. Hooray for Hooray. They woke up and they've really picked up a big round there. Very, very cleanly and efficiently done to clean out the Danish team. And really, it was just a good entry that was just shut right back down. And NOA were just massacred within a few seconds. And now they're going to think about this one again, having bought that AWP and not got a frag on the board. They will be looking financially at thinking, well, we've got to make this one count. We've at least got to get a bomb down to make sure we can uh, be in good shape for the final round. Because if they get massacred here, they're in big trouble. They make their way in towards the uncover bomb site. Quickly does it as well. Pushing on board. Got day one. And they, uh, Ave and MGE come up with uh, return frags. There'll be no second ace for Conte. They have got that bomb down right on cue. Rotation called in. MJE is about to unleash himself onto Ruit as Ruit will go down and it's just Lupus that will push forward and now Lupus and Nasu say enough is enough and they are pulling out and deciding to save their weapons even though they've got the money in the bank they just know there's just no point going in there because they wouldn't be coming out alive four on two and uh, well this round will be exchanged it'll go one on one and well that was a damn quick round was a very quick round indeed. NOA making very short work of planting the uncovered bomb site, and a good tactic from them on that round worked superbly. Hurai won. NOA won in overtime. 16 16 overall here in map one of the World Cyber Games bronze medal final. And these two will continue to be unseparated. They can't be pulled apart. As we go into round three of the half, it is the final round of this particular half in overtime. And uh, Hurai in good shape, it seems, still able to buy that round with those couple of saves, and that was important for them as well. And, uh, well, we'll see whether NOA can make this one count on the T-side. Grenades flying along the banana walkway, not doing any damage to anything other than the walls right now. And that doesn't get them a frag. HBX does get them a frag, though, with Tomba going down. And here comes the push. They pushed right in straight away. HBX with that first frag of the round has sent them flying in towards the bomb site. But no, the rotation is going to occur. And MJ has been down by Conti. And that sent the signal to HBX and AVE to send their way back and rotate all the way towards the covered site. Zonic in with another kill on Lurpis. And they have the advantage now as they head towards this covered site. In goes ABE, he's looking up towards the balcony. There's a bomb being thrown down towards him. Plant that one, sir, please. Stick that one down in the covered side. That's exactly what he's going to do. Brilliant team play between NOA, and they get that bomb planted. And now the pressure, and all the pressure, switches over to Hurai as Nasu goes down. Ruit's now sitting down in the sandpit, building nothing but sandcastles as Conti comes back towards that covered side. He'll know where the bomb is now. Does get a brilliant headshot in on ABE, and that'll be one down. He's got to find a couple more, though. Three more, in fact. Sonic Paddy and HBX will combine. Sonic gets another frag in the right. The final man will go down under the hands of HBX. And that'll be GGGH. 
Good half. NOA leads 17 to 16. Yeah, interesting performance there from Harai. They really took that first round by storm, and I thought maybe overtime was going to come to save them, just like it did yesterday. But it was not to be, and now they go on, and they're really up against it as we swap this one around at the half. NOA proved that when they're on T's side, they're a real force to be reckoned with. And ne Sorry, NOA proved that when they're on the CT side, they are a force to be reckoned with. And, uh, well... I think, I think it's the motor racing fumes have gone to your head. I think it's the early mornings. <laughs> I'm a student. I'm not usually up until Neighbours comes on at 1.45. <laughs> so, you know. Anyway, you, you know what? I think NOA are just going to have to, with the money that they'll have, if they can pick up this first round, they'll go to three. Then they've got one out of two rounds to pick, and the pressure will be all on Finland, all on Finland to take it. And I think they can do that. Just yep. make this first round count. Play your damnedest this time around. Whip out your, your A game if you've got it. And they're going to push HPX a long way down the middle. Let's try and find him. As they scout around, he's got that AWP. He's found, he's seen one head, and he's actually not going to open up onto it. And will back away. I'm guessing Ruick caught it, but the other four members of the uh, Horai side are all in this area with Tompa. They've got three about to boost up and go into the office area. Tompa's just making sure no one's looking, and Paddy is about to unleash onto Tompa as he looks around this corner. He's going to go on board, and Paddy's just going to sit firm. Nasu opens up onto MJ, and the first frag will go to Harai, and the rotation, well, the situation is that an, an AV is going to rotate and push behind him if he's clever. If he goes all the way down this banana bomb site, he might be able to make it. Zonic is pushing away from the bomb site. I have no idea why, and uh, Tomper is now about to make an entry uh, slowly but surely from Harai. They love playing their attack slowly, and uh, we saw them have great joy with this, and that's the problem. They should have won this game in that first, uh, first half, so Tomper's going to make his entry in towards this cover bomb site. Oh. There it is, frag a piece. Zonic with one, two big shots coming forward. Now he's going to make his way back. Zonic with two headshots. He makes him, uh, AWP frag comes in. Ruin will level things back up. It's a two on two situation. Conte is right behind. HPX spies him, screams hello with the AWP, and is going to go in. It's all on Ruin. The bomb is screaming above him. He can't pick it up. He's just out of reach like a cookie in the cookie jar. He can't quite put his hand in. Now he's going to grab that cookie, and he's going to make his way forward. But NOA are pushing in on the round victory if they can get this one AD pushes through he can't find it HPX does they'll get the defuse and that'll send us to three and NOA did one round out of two and the pressure is on Finland like it never has been before well I don't know about it never has been before I'm pretty sure we were at this situation yesterday with MYM weren't we 22 20 or something like that I, I think you know the game with MYM showed that Hurai do have what it takes to come back when it's clutch time. And that is what they have to do right now. They have to take these next three rounds. Otherwise, it's all over for them. And NOA will win first map in this best of three for the third place playoff. 18-16 is the score. NOA have the advantage as we restart once more. Harai coming forward with those AKs out through the washing line, trying to get pushing forward through the middle area. The tire screeching here at Monza continues in the background, but it's AK-47 shots that we're interested in right now. Ruit looking down that banana walkway. Hasn't spied anyone. He'll push up through the middle area. No, he'll wait and see whether he can find anyone coming down the banana walkway from the NOA side. Meanwhile, NOA setting themselves up with two at the cover bomb site, three at the covered site. They've got two on the walkway from Hurai, two inside the building right now, and Ruit covering their backsides, looking down towards the banana walkway. Lurpis now making his way down that carpeted walkway. There will be a flash comes around the corner as well. Lurpis completely blinded, looking at the wall. And uh, now finally that will wear off. He's got a man beside him as well as a grenade comes towards the uh, doorway. They'll bounce a couple off the, wall, the doorways as well. Now they break into the bomb site. MJ is coming up with the first frag. Ruit down with another one. Brilliant stuff from Ruit inside that bomb site, uh, inside that Sanford area. And MJ felt the full force of Ruit there as Paddy comes in with a headshot on Ruit. Lurpis then still waiting down there. Nasu is coming with another frag. And we are at 3v2 right now as HPX will go down. The bomb gets planted. AVE with two big frags in the run. Then Lurpis finishes him off. And now it's all down to Zonic. 1v1. Lurpis versus Zonic. Is this the round winner for NOA? Lurpis waits. The bomb's planted. There he is. Going to wait for the shot on Zonic. Zonic does take a bit of damage down to 34 health. And Lurpis will finally get the AK frag and pull it back yet again. Clutch, you say? That's Clutch. 18-17. NOA lead. Very, very good right there. I just don't want to even think about what was going through those two players' minds at that moment. <laughs> Such a crucial section of the game. 
and that was a brilliant frag to come up with. 18-7 the score. And away know, though, that they did the hard work on that first round. Now that they, they it still doesn't matter that they lost that one, because they can still win this one, but they're going to have to be alert to it, because here comes a push straight up the banana walkway. One, two, three, four. Here we go. They're going to make that push. No, slow it well, right down in typical <laughs> Harai fashion. I was about to get all excited there, but I'll just stem my enthusiasm, curb my enthusiasm for a brief second. One of the players has made his way forward. This is still going to be a banana rush, and they've in fact gone a long way forward, and AVE is oh. still in the back of that bomb site. Paddy's gone down, but the defense inside that bomb site still up. Sonic down, AVE goes down. Harai going to tie this one up, surely. MJE and HPX are going to decide it's time to go in. However, it's too little too late for them, surely, as the M4s are whipped out. I'm going to make their way through as HPX looks around. We're going to have more grenades going across. He's just waiting outside. HPX will claim one. MG's gone down. It's a one on three. And this would be sensational from MG. He looks around. Oh, Nasty will take the frag. And we're going into double overtime. Yeah, predominantly excited. But, uh, yeah, there's the... Uh there's the restarts. We will get the restarts and carry on through this overtime. This is the second set of overtime then. And 18-18 is the score. Hurray now switching back to T-side once more. Will have to try and find themselves another few rounds. And, you know, NIA was so close at 18-16. They just needed one of the last two rounds. They couldn't find either of them. We had a massive clutch game in, the, in that last round as well. It just didn't work out for them. But I, I think Zonic will be sitting there. I mean, he's one of their big players. So he'll be sitting there thinking, you know what? I should have won that round for us. I really should have. But he took the damage and he went down. And Harai come back from the dead again and save themselves once more. Can they now build on that and perhaps try and sneak a win here on Inferno? It's all tied up then as we head into the first round of second overtime on Inferno. MJ now making his way down the carpeted walkway, having a bit of a push here from the NOA side on CT side. This time has got Paddy as well. Finally, they're going to back themselves away out of that walkway. Scaredy cats going for the run. And I uh, thought they might have edged forward and maybe pushed on in on the terrorist side. They weren't going to do that this time round, though. And that is a very risky maneuver indeed. Nasu now with a teammate for comfort just outside the main buildings. Ruit looking down towards Banana Walkway and has spied himself one man who's pushed all the way along that walkway. It's AVE again. He's been a bit risky with that and finally decides to pull himself back towards the covered site. So Ruit is left alone in that middle area. Meanwhile, let's check out the rest of the Hurai side. We have Lurpis spamming a wall. Uh, that's not going to get you any frags. Uh, there's uh, another couple of grenades fly through that walkway as well. And Lurpis just spamming off some shots because he's completely blind. And finally, will recover from that blindness. There was one killing from the Hurai side. They'll uh, throw out loads of flashing grenades and smoke in towards that cover bombsite. They finally break into it as well. And Zonic with a, uh, with a frag with the M4. Root will return fire. Get the revenge kill with a pistol. Paddy in with two in a row. Nasu finally downs him as well. And now AVE has got a lot of work to do. Three on, uh, two on one right now as he heads towards the cover bombsite and knows that that's exactly where that bomb has been planted. Nasu covering from behind the box, looking back towards the balcony right now. AV is going to pop himself out of there any moment now and Nasu is just going to shoot him down and wait for that bomb to explode. Is he going to come back here? I don't know. Yes, he does show himself as well and Nasu still waits behind the box. AV is sitting up the top. He's going to be in a crossfire right now with Lurpis behind him and there it is. Shot to the back of the head and he did get one frag. The bomb will explode and uh, well, the ride win that opening round and they have the lead by 19 to 18. Yes, indeed. 19-18 and we're in a situation that sees Harai really, really in you know, happy land. They've, they're in front once again. And this is a situation they probably don't remember because it was a long time ago since they've been this comfortable. The past few rounds have been extremely tense and extremely ferocious. And Nasu and his Harai side certainly need to uh, stem the tide at this World Cyber Games 2006. Harai with uh, two players ready to push forward. Lurpus and Natsu ready to move as uh, they have themselves. Natsu going to get boosted on up in towards that area as uh, we have NOA quite happy to watch them slow the pace of this one down. But Harai know that with this slow paced attack, they've really reaped some benefits early on in, these, in the earlier rounds of this tournament with these slower attacks. And as Conte, who got an ace earlier on in this game, remember, is ready to push forward. He's just looking around. Nothing, uh, nothing moving just yet. Lopez is going to go in, and here comes the assault from Harai. They're coming in from the balcony as well. Lopez opening up the frag. MG goes down. Paddy's about to get a whole lot of action coming his way as the grenades raining left, right, and center. And here they go. Paddy picks up one. Drop himself back. He's going to get the second. No, they double back. And there it is. Paddy with another M4 headshot going on through. Nasu answers up. HPX comes in with the AWP frag bomb down. And it's Nasu, last man, joined by Lopez. In fact, 
who's going to make his way in. Bomb is planted. Lopez is covering Nasu. They're watching his six. Now it's going to be HPX with the AWB. Launching those shots in down there. It is a two on two. This is massive right now. If NOA lose this round, then they're right up against the wall. The NOA will push forward. HPX and AVE come together. They only like three letters on NOA, and they're going to make that def Well, they're going to go and get a kit, and then they're going to make that defuse, <laughs> as uh, they don't want to fall for the same mistake that happened earlier. Absolutely not. And that'll be that. 1-1 one, one in overtime. 19 all is the score in this third, fourth playoff in map one. Yep, we're still in map one already. And uh, third place is no sooner to be decided between these two teams. You just can't break them apart all the way through this match. It's been 2-1 in the first set of overtime, first half. 2-1 in the second half. 9-6 in the first half of the map itself. 9-6 the second half. You can't separate them whatsoever. 1-1 one, one in double overtime. 19 all in a complete score. And Sue Ryan now looking as if they uh, might surprise us with a rush along the banana walkway. Four men went along that walkway. In fact, all five men went along that walkway. And Conti is now going to cover them from the rear. Tompa looking down towards the archway. Hasn't spied himself anyone. And again, just as we get excited, they decide to pause. Four men just outside the archway. Now they're going to make the move in. And that's a quicker move than they made before. Paddy and Zonic with two in a row. That'll get them a man, two-man advantage. And Topper was able to break into the bombsite. He'll check round that box. Hasn't found anyone whatsoever. AB's coming in another kill. Topper in with a reply, though. And now Topper checking out to the right-hand side. Has spied himself. One man through the box. And it's another kill. No, another couple of shots flying out towards that. Uh, through the box. And uh, NJ's now making the rotation as well. So is Zonic and Paddy, and they've got 3v2 right now as the bomb gets planted. And Hoorah have got to hold on to this for dear life. They're down by a man. Nasu, though, comes in on Zonic. That'll get him a man back. Paddy in with another bomb. MJ around the corner, and that'll be another defuse, surely, for NOA. And NOA will go into the half ahead by 20 to 19 in double overtime. Exactly the same as that first overtime. NOA go into the half one round up, and the situation comes back where NOA will think. One round, and the pressure is completely off us. So we'll see as we swap this over. If NOA can pick up this round at the start of the second overtime, at the second half of overtime, then I really think that they must then be confident to go on and win it. You saw how close they came last time. We're almost in a replica situation. NOA just need to make sure that they can pull off this attack. As uh, we switch ourselves over, we go live in the second half of the second overtime on the fourth day of the World Cyber Games in October of 2006. Red Eye, take us away. You're just trying to confuse people now. 20-19 to 19 is the score then. NOA leading. And, uh, yeah, as Toss just said, if they can take this round, it would be massive for them because they would just need one of the last two. Uh, on the other hand, if RI can win this one, it's all square again. MJ now making his way forward up the uh, first one. Wait, oh, two big kills in the middle of the Topper with two in a row with the M4. AV and HPX have gone down. Topper will get a third kill in a row. Massive stuff from Topper. Finally finished off by the grenade of Sonic. But absolutely sensational stuff from Topper and Harai. Three on the banana walk grab. All disappeared. And we're already down a 4v2. And NOA must be kicking themselves. And they have lost the opportunity shortly now to have a two-round lead. Paddy and Sonic remaining as the last two. Let's try and find Paddy. Paddy has edged his way out towards the cover bombs. Zonic right behind him as well. He has the bomb with him right now. They're going to push around his right hand side. AWP shot in from Zonic. Finishes off Lurpis. They have found one. Can they break into this side? Still got 53 seconds now. The call's gone out from Nasu though. Ruin and Conti are now making their way back towards this cover bomb site from opposite sides. And they will now try a pincer movement in on NOA to, tr to try and stop them getting towards this bomb site. Zonic taking a little bit of a boost there to check up on that uh, check up on the uh, balcony. Nice little movement along as well with the man underneath him. Good stuff. Nasu's down in the sandpit though, and he'll spy one of these men surely any second now. Now they've missed both of them as well. Zonic standing with a back to Nasu, and Nasu will claim the frag. And surely this is the end of the round for NOA, and Ruit will come in from behind and grab that kill. But stunning stuff from Tompa at the start of the round, and he can be thankful. Hurai now tied up again at 20 all. What a sensational game. This one goes from end to end. 2 to the score right now. If anyone wants to take this match, they're going to have to win the next two rounds. Otherwise, we're going into triple overtime. That wouldn't be too bad, I guess. As uh, we push on forward, it's going to be Hirai now that will make their way slowly through. Ruin is going to push forward. He has M4 in hand, and this could be a little bit of an aggressive movement here. He pushes all the way down. In fact, the push has come straight up that middle from NOA. Paddy is making his way through, and they're underneath that netting, and Ruin is all the way behind. He's picked up the frag on HPX and will claim that one. MJE is going to make his way around. Now we have Ruin coming up with a frag. Lopez exchanging, and well, we're losing man left, right, and center. AP down. Lopez still Ruin comes in. Sonic's going to go in, but Sonic's got players on his back. Oh! 
backside, oh. and that's the bomb. MJE rushing around there to claim the bomb from him as AVN, uh, sorry, as Tomper is going to try and lock it down. Joined by Conte, two on two. This is crucial right now. Yet again, a two on two as Tomper is going to lock down that smoke is just about to clear. And MJE is going to come all the way down the back route. AVE is just making his way around the corner now, debating what he's going to do. He could, uh, well, either way, he's not in a position to make something happen. 40 seconds sit on the board. And I do believe the clock is going to play a role in this map as MJE isolates himself as he pushes down the left-hand side. He's going to come all the way around the back of, either, possibly down the sand, but no, he's going to go for the bomb possibly now. 27 seconds to go on this clock. They're going to have to make their commitment. They're going to have to do it now. And here they go. AVE picks up the one frag. They've got the bomb. And oh. they're right. No, they're not. Tompa picked up the frag on one of them. And now we're at a one-on-one. MJE scurrying across 13 seconds. He's going to get this bomb down. Tompa is about to realize that as he sees the clock. And here's the word. The bomb has been planted. And now he's going to look around to this right-hand side. M4 in hand. Harai will now push forward as MJE has dropped all the way down to the sandpit. One-on-one for the round. Tick. He gets it, and there will be a big, big boom, and that'll be that. As NOA will go up two to one, we'll, we'll pull this one up to a three to two at half time, and now we're at that clutch situation one more time. Three two. 21 20 is the score then. MJE with a brilliant round ending. I tell you what, there was a little mistake in that one. They isolated the bomb man right in that middle area. They left him alone. They pushed into the, uh, the cover bomb site and they left him completely on his own. Unfortunately for him, he then got raised from behind as the Hurai side spread all the way around the other side. And that could have cost them big. It didn't in the end, so hey, it's okay. It all worked out good in the end for NOA. They lead by one. Can they claim this round for outright victory on Matt One? We haven't been able to separate these two sides at any time time in this match it's 21 rounds to 20 right now that's how tight this game is and we have the final round of the second set of overtime mj pushing his way forward through the smoke checks the archway one man round to the right hand side he hasn't spied anyone at all now he's backing himself away meanwhile over at the cover bomb site they are starting to break in towards it zonic making a nuisance of himself ave there as well hbx in the middle area waiting for the call to push Hasn't had it just yet. AV checking out to the left-hand side archway. Hasn't spied himself anyone at all. So Zonic will push on in. Zonic does get the frag on on route as well. AV now pushing in towards the stamp. And uh, anyway, I've got a real good chance of taking this one. Oh, that's him in with one. There's an HE from HPX. And AV has got another kill as well. And anyway, have a massive chance to win this round with the bomb planted in the cover bomb site. Conti in with an HE grenade kill. HPX has replied with a shot on, uh, on Conti as well. And now they have one more man remaining. It's Tompa. And surely this is going the way of NOA. Tompa, the last man standing. Fire through the smoke down to the right hand side he's got ammunition fired at him from all sorts of angles right now and he is completely isolated and there it is AVE comes in and we have a winner for Matt One